More evidence today about the risk of permanent brain damage in football players. Researchers found 91% of former college players and 99% of NFL athletes had evidence of CTE, a degenerative brain disease. Doctors say CTE is caused by multiple blows to the head. Most players with CTE suffered from mood disorders and they showed symptoms of dementia before their deaths. A former Harrisonville football player who died from a heart condition, he had advanced CTE at just 25 years of age. Michael Keck was a star on the field, but after his death, doctors discovered the constant hits damaged his brain. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey talked to the Harrisonville football coach to find out what they are doing to keep players safe. When I first came here in 2000, the fall of 2006, Michael Keck was an outstanding football player. Four years after his tragic death, the memory of Michael Keck lives on at Harrisonville High School. He was a star here, not only on the football field, but, you know, in the classroom and in the community. A standout student that continued playing at Missouri and Missouri State, who at the age of just 25, died after suffering from CTE and years of multiple concussions. His death coming just three years after 17-year-old Spring Hill student athlete Nathan Stiles also died weeks after suffering a concussion. The deaths sparking change at schools like Harrisonville High. It's something that's astonishing. I mean, it's something we need to pay attention to and be aware of. To help increase player safety, Maxwell says every day at practice, proper techniques are held on tackling. Plus, he says coaches also attend CTE workshops to raise awareness on the issue. CTE awareness also coming in the form of a speech by Michael Keck's grandmother to several school teams at a summer football camp this past June. Parents like Randy McCleave, whose son plays football at Harrisonville, support the extra safety measures. It's a dangerous sport, but by the same token, it uh, you can't live live your life in a padded room either. With today's report showing 99% of former NFL players studied with evidence of CTE, Maxwell encourages parents to raise their own awareness about the condition when deciding whether or not to allow their child to play football. You just have to to weigh those risks and see you know if the pros outweigh the cons. In Harrisonville, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. You know, it was just three years ago we learned the former Kansas City chief who killed his girlfriend and then himself showed signs of CTE. Doctors who studied Javon Belcher's brain after his death said he had extensive brain injuries associated with concussions.